In this video, we're going to be discussing installing MotiveWave on a Mac. First step is to head on over to our website, MotiveWave.com. Head on over to our Downloads page, where you will find the DMG for download. Go ahead and download that. Then once you've downloaded it, we're going to be opening the downloaded file. We're going to move it to the Applications folder, and then we're going to start the MotiveWave installation wizard. So you've downloaded the DMG file from our website. The next step would be to go on over to your downloads directory. And from there, double click the DMG file. And once it's mounted, we can drag it into our applications folder. From the applications folder, we would then start MotiveWave, which will initiate the installation wizard. Click Next. You'll be presented with the license agreement. We recommend that you read it through so that you're familiar with the terms and conditions. Click I Agree. Now, with your trial or with your purchase, you would have received a welcome email. In that email is a license key. Now, that license key, we recommend that you copy and paste it rather than trying to type it into the license field, as this will avoid any errors. So we'll go ahead and copy that. We'll paste it. And then we'll click Next. Once the key is activated, you'll be presented with a workspace name field. You can place anything that you like here to help you identify your workspace. Some common things that I see users put here are their account name or the name of the connection that they're using to their workspace, their data connection. For location, you have two options. I'll get into the details of the MotiveWave Cloud in a later video, but you have the local option, which is your local disk, and you have the MotiveWave Cloud, which is on the internet. Now, MotiveWave can be installed on as many computers as you like, but can be run on only one computer at a time. You may find, for instance, that if you travel, you will want to access your workspace from a central location as this will help avoid copying and restoring files across machines. So in that case you can install it on the cloud. That way uh, when you log in using your portable computer like your laptop you can then access the workspace from the cloud. So in this case I'm gonna just place Google here because I'm going to use the free uh, feed that, that Google offers. Now, just a note on that, if you are going to use Google, um, they stopped supporting it years ago, but it's still available. So we generally recommend it as a demo feed only if you don't have any other broker or feed at the moment to connect MotiveWave to. So from your service here, you'll list, there'll be a list here of all the available connections, including brokers and data feeds. So in this case, we selected Google. So I'm going to click on Google. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Finish. And now you're presented with the MotiveWave startup screen, and you will see the workspace listed. To load the workspace, you would then click on Continue. And then the workspace loads up. And now you're ready to start using MotiveWave. On to the next video.